For release 99, we've actually added an extra function where we can split receive a purchase order. Now, we must note that it's not active by default, and the way we would actually go in and add it in is it's, it's done per customer. So we go contacts, customers, and I'm gonna allow it for Bob's groceries. So I scroll down the bottom under the customer settings and hit edit. I go to warehouse management, purchase order, and down the bottom here you can see that there's a new little section here called split receiving, and we tick allow split receiving and we would hit save. So then what would happen is if I go into a purchase order, so I've got some purchase orders here which are not yet received. So I'm going to go into the purchase order with a reference DD65000. I'm going to click on in here and I can have a look and it's got two products on here, two pallets. In the details, I'm going to update the status to received and from there I'm going to verify the purchase order products. So what we can actually do is, is if I was to come in and the, or the driver was to walk in and he said I have one pallet out of this order and I only have the goji berries, I'm going to bring in the Van Slutens for tomorrow. So we can actually confirm the first pallet and when I tick that confirm you can see there's a new button down the bottom here saying split receiving. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to receive that product straight into my bulk bin. So I'll pallet straight in. I'm going to click split receive. And it's going to ask me, do you want to separate this purchase order? And I'm going to create it. So now what it's actually done is it's gotten rid of the Van Slutens and it's put it on a completely new purchase order. So this allows the, the user, um, whether it be on the web app or on the mobile app, to go on and complete the verification without having to worry about dropping everything, coming into the, into the web app, changing anything or, or updating pop records or whatever it may be. So we're just going to complete verification and finish. And now what you can actually see is we have a new tab here on the purchase order called group. And if I click on the group, you can actually see that we've got a, another reference of DD6500. And you can see that it has a dash two because that's the second split. And you can see that it's not yet received. So what we can actually do, I can click on into this second purchase order. And if I update that to received because it's the next day and in comes the driver and he says, yes, I've got the pallet of Van Slutens and we're going to verify the purchase order products. So what we can then do is you can see here we have our expected on hand as 2400 and then we've got our confirmed on hand. Now these are actually two different, different, um, um, different fields. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that and I'm going to put it in because the driver tells me it's only half a pallet and I'm going to hit confirm. And now what you can actually see is it has split that pallet in half. And as you can see, once again, we've got split receiving. So even though it was only one pallet, if I receive half of that, so not all of it has come in, and this is great when you're receiving, say, from a manufacturer, and they were producing 22 pallets, but only brought in 22 and a half, uh, 21 and a half. So you can actually wait for the rest of the stock to come in the next day or whatever it may be. So I'm going to split receive that, and it will ask me again, and I'm going to create it, and I'm going to complete the verification and finish. So now if I go to the, to the group tab, you can actually see that we have three splits. We can also see up the top we have the original purchase order, which we know we've had it split from. You can also go into the history and you can see whereabouts that purchase order has been split from. So you can see that this one has come from this, this purchase order reference with this purchase order ID. The other place is on the details tab, you can actually see that there's a new uh, column in here or new line in here which says split, yes. So we can see that on a few different places. We can also come into the view page for the purchase order. So if I go into the all, you can actually see over here on the right hand side that we have the information that it's split. The same as what we do when we have an adjustment in bits and pieces. So it's a really good way to be able to bring in large amounts of stock. Uh, even though it might be that a customer is going to give you a purchase order of 200 pallets coming in from overseas and they're only going to be received 20 pallets at a time we can still work from the one purchase order and just keep splitting till we've fully received the stock.